Erskine gave me a gift. Welcome to Character Select. My name is Dave. I'm here on my own. But happy 4th of July, everybody. I've decided to celebrate this, this anniversary of America's independence by being Captain America. So, we've done a couple of other, uh, hopefully, done a couple of other, uh, um, things for today, and a one for Canada Day, but at this point, we gotta be a Captain America. I mean, it's just a thing that's gonna happen. You here who just showed up with the company? Oh, the Captain. You realize it's showing up on my microphone. Yeah, the Captain. What? Sorry, my wife was just here. He's a glorified poster boy. Poses for pictures and disappears when the action starts. I don't oh, know. snap. I saved a bunch of guys in D Company who got captured. Wise up. It was staged for the newsreels. All that's for the folks back home. Nobody's coming to pull our butts out of this. Is there a weird green line on my screen? There is. The fuck is going on here? That's probably not good for that guy. What's going on with that green line on the screen? Oh, maybe it fixed itself. Maybe. We'll see. Fuck you, bitches! I'm Captain America. I'll take it from here. Oh shit! Yeah. Stop the mysterious attackers. Who are these guys? So, for anybody that doesn't know, Captain America is probably my favorite Marvel superhero. Time to see how they take a punch. Boom! Boom! Ah! Ah! Fuck you, bitches! Dong. Good times. Good times had by all, except those guys I just fucking knocked out. Whee! Just call me a pathetic American. Excuse me, sir. I'm pathetic Captain America. Damn it, stop Let's fucking attacking me, Jesus Christ. Thing. So, this is actually- I don't know if this game is actually considered canon, uh, but there's nothing in the game that actually contradicts anything that happens in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So, it could be. And I also- I also haven't played through this entire game, I think I've gotten like halfway through. It's a good game. It's, uh, it's one of those games that when it came out, everybody was like, oh, it's just another movie time movie. It's not going to be that great, but. I've got to cover your cap, but some guys are pinned out up ahead. Hurry! Also, they did in fact get Chris Evans to, uh, Show him what we're made of. to play Captain America in this game, which is pretty awesome. Not sure about Sebastian Stan. They might have. Excuse me, sir. May I punch you in the face? Boom! This game also provides quite a bit of justification for how... or why Cap fights the way that he does. Supposedly, like, there's a thing you can find where he, um... He, uh... He decides to use hand-to-hand -hand combat specifically because it's easier to, uh, surprise people that are used to ranged combat. I'm on it, Captain. Can I smash these? I can smash these. Huh. You don't need these supplies, right, boys? Right, boys? Don't worry. Captain America's on the job. He'll clean up these boxes for you. Oh, no. Whee! Yeah, Captain America is definitely my favorite uh, hero in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I mean, all the characters are awesome. Uh, I'm, I'm actually really excited for the Spider-Man movie that's coming out. I believe a few days after this comes out is when it comes out. Or this video goes up is when it's going to come out. Um, nope, you're not dead. But, uh, 
But yeah, when it comes to superheroes, Cap's the man. You gotta, you gotta trust in Cap. Ah, they died. He doesn't care. Oh, he's a big one. He's gonna take everything I've got. Oh. Crippling strike requires one filled focus bar. Ooh, in the face. Unconscious. So in terms of chronology, if this game is canon, it takes place during Captain America, Super Soldier, or the first Avenger. Um, this is between the point where he, after rescues the... Yet. Bucky and the Howling Commandos. This is, a different this is while he's taking out uh, the um, strongholds. Get me Howard Stark. Oh no, it's Hydra Tech. There's just something so cool about Captain America. He's a guy that his primary weapon is a form of defense. Captain America, Super Soldier. But uh, this game is actually really good. If you can find it, it's on uh, PS3 only, I think. Captain. Might be on uh, Xbox 360 as well, Captain. but it's no longer in print. Captain You'd have to find a used copy. But uh, if you could do it, it's totally worth playing. Boop, boop, boop. Let's get some intel. Click. This is Rogers. Go ahead. Over. Rogers, it's Peggy. I've got some last minute things to go over before the drop. Cool. Let's, Let's do it. Our analysis of the munitions you recovered last night. Howard Stark was able to identify... But yeah, because this game was officially endorsed by the Marvel Cinematic Universe, they got as many of the voice actors as they could, I think. No small fees, I promise you. That's totally not Howard Stark, though. I do like dossiers. We also have a research film reel that was just smuggled out of the area. It's in the locker at the back of the plane. These guys are obsessive about documenting their work. So yeah, I'm not going to play through this game. This game takes several hours to finish, and uh, it's just, it's not going to work. <laughs> But uh, years of planning and research, we'll play it for a bit. Time has come at last. Project Masterman is a reality. History shall record that Dr. Arnim Zola was the first to unlock the secrets of the human genome, and thus my immortality is assured. I don't think that's Since true. The of my benefactor Johann Schmidt, I will replicate and surpass the work of the traitor Abraham Erskine. Erskine. The Americans believe they have created a perfect human specimen in their precious super soldier. They are fools. I don't know. He kicks a lot of ass. The human body is a false goal. What does it profit us to perfect something inherently limited? No. To truly evolve, we must improve upon it. Okay. Skull has secured a remote research facility and outfitted it with Hydra forces for my protection and assistance. The Skull has also honored me with the loan of the Tesseract Cube to aid in my research. Under his supervision, of course. No, the Tesseract Even is not going to be recovered in this game. I shall work tirelessly until I have unlocked Erskine's secrets and taken them to places he never imagined, or perhaps feared to trade. It is my goal, my purpose, my destiny. Thanks for the patriotic, awful music in the background, by the way. Why is it that they, these super scientists can always figure out, like, how to create genetic... 
genetic modifications and stuff like that, but god damn it. Can't make a better music player. Captain, we're nearing the drop zone. Your job's to shut down the long range air defenses. Once the drop zone's secure, radio in and we'll give the invaders the go ahead. Steve, be careful. There's so much we don't know about. Oh. Seems bad. I don't think so. Get out as soon as I'm clear. Yes, sir. Oh. That probably won't affect the aerodynamics. Um, but uh that seemed like a bad idea. There's also a game made by Sega, surprisingly. Well, published by Sega. My phone is buzzing. Probably should. Hello, gentlemen. Boom. Get fucked. Bonk. Alright. So, first things first, we'll take these folders of precious enemy intel. Seriously, the way this game works, you basically gather, like, a library's worth of dossiers. And they're not even worth that much experience. Let's find a way to take out that gun. Don't worry, I will. Hello? My name is Captain America. I am here to destroy your ship. Do-do-do-do-do-do. How? How? Are you unconscious? How about now? Get fucked. And the other thing that this game is really kind of interesting about is that it basically... I just need to find it. Is that it does make Cap out to be, you know, a smart guy. Because he is smart. Everybody looks at Captain America and he's like, oh, he can jump and he can kick and he can fight and all that's really cool. He's superhuman and all that stuff. But he was smart before he was that. That's what I like about him. I want to say this guy is, um... Yeah, whatever. They'd see me coming a mile away. Gotta hit them from a distance. Whee! Clunk. Whee! Clunk. Whee! Clunk. Whoops. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Didn't mean to do that. Oh no! I blew up your thing. That seems bad. That seems super bad. Power's coming probably down. go. Gotta move. He's also crazy athletic. Whoop. I messed that up. Sorry. If you do this right, it looks really cool. If you do it wrong, he does that stuff. Whee. Bing. That was close. I should find a radio and report in. Stop texting me. Okay. Right. I'm just that badass. He's a myth, a propaganda tool. Don't be so naive, Eric. Shh. Did you hear something? Funk. Do do do. Ah, I messed that up. Okay. Damn it. Oh no, you're dead. Oh no, you're dead too. Oh, you took a bullet to the face. Whoops, my bad. Boom! Friendly fire bonus. Bam! Nice! He keeps killing us with our own bullets! Keep shooting him! Fucking morons. Wanna try one more time? You can do it. I'm sure you'll get it this time. 
Oh, I guess not. Idiots. Attention all security forces. Is this Baron von That's right, it's von Strucker. For what it's worth, Von Strucker in uh, in the movies, because there is a Von Strucker in the movies. He's the the guy that um, they fight against at the beginning of uh, Avengers: Age of Ultron. He is a descendant of this Strucker. Also, those Enigma things get incredibly complex later. It's like you have thirty-three characters. Find the one common character between two sets. Well, I guess it'd be 36. Okay. Open the doors. I heard that after the incident with the gasoline, he had to answer to the Baron. You think he was sent to the dungeon? That would be a mercy compared to the Baron Satan Claw. I've seen him flay the flesh from men's faces with it. Like steel. Boom! You guys want to go? All right. These guys are not difficult at all. Donk. Boom. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Imagine getting hit by a shield has to hurt. I bet there's a radio up there. I just hope the signal is strong enough. But yes, good game. I like it. Captain America is definitely my favorite hero. I mean, Iron Man is cool, but Iron Man is just... Like, <laughs> Sometimes the suit tech gets really kind of ridiculous. I mean, the folders. Um, whereas, and then Thor is basically a god, so you're like, yeah, he gets into sticky situations, but the threat has to be commensurate with, you know, him being a god in order for it to actually be interesting. And then there's um, Captain America, and it's like, yeah, he's really, really, really strong for a person, but he's still a person, and that's kind of all he has, and his shield. And it's just like, that's cool. I love that. Ooh. Break the barrel. Okay, I guess I'm breaking the barrels. But yeah, there's a bunch of stuff. Like, this is the this is essentially the game where you learn to... Oh, I'll show you, actually. If you go to upgrades, the, the experience points that you get let you do unlock stuff. Um, this is where he basically learns to bounce shields. Stops incoming attack and stuns the enemy for a short time. Just stunning shockwave by driving the shield into the ground. We'll bounce the target, the shield. Really yeah. But like right before I could do that, I could basically bounce it off one guy. Now I can bounce it off two guys. And like it, it makes it so that his evolution from this to uh, the Winter Soldier is to headquarters. pretty cool. Come in. Over. And I mean, notwithstanding the fact that Chris that Evans is, you know, a pretty good actor, he, so he actually does seem on. like he's being the character in this game. He's not just phoning it in. That's always a bonus. Copy. Maintain schedule. By the time they get here, the skies will be clear. Captain America out. We. We. That seems unnecessary. The Flemish farm. The shot cannot be deflected. Hello. Hello, Sergeant, your friends. Gotta take them out quick. Or reinforcements get We get fucked, son. Boom. See, and then it starts to get a little more complicated. You got guys who got to punch a few times. And then you got... Motherfucker. While wow, also people are shooting at you. I mean, there's more to this game than just, you know, fighting. You got to do it right. Also, fuck that guy. Fuck that guy's ribs, apparently. Oh, and his everything. Oh. Super punched. I don't know why I wasted it on that. These guys are called kobolds. 
I mean, okay. Boom! Would you like some more? You would like some more. Oh. It has come to my attention that our uninvited guest is none other than the American super soldier. And mm -hmm. this is causing some concern. I remind you mm -hmm. that the weapons and armor Herr Zola equipped you with make you his equal. He's better. He's one man. Whoops. Bring me his head. Am I pushing the wrong button here? What's going on? I am pushing the wrong button. Derp. I've got a shot. Boom. Where'd the other guy go? Did he just run away like a bitch? Oh, no. There he is. When their helmets come off, that's when you know they're dead. But yeah, it's... I don't know. I can't, I can't gush about Captain America anymore. It'll... It'll, uh... It'll start to get weird. That's not true. So what's your favorite Marvel character? Or just your straight up favorite superhero? Leave a comment below. Doom. You got doom punched, bitch. Surprise. Open the secret passageway. Pick up another ceramic. Hey, oh, cameo ornament. Another Zemo diary. Oh no, this guy has a shield. However, will I defeat them? You're right. I'll just punch you in the head. Now, wrong one. These guys are called Spartans. Boom. Boom. I think there's actually a way to rip their shields off, but I don't remember. Alright, you guys done? That was fun. Fun and educational. Film reel. It's the Baron Von Strucker reel. Nobody cares. Ben Baron Von Strucker has the Satan arm, which is basically he has a claw instead of an arm. It's pretty creepy. Another Enigma machine. Sweet. Uh, D and E. That's one thing I always feel like superhero movies don't necessarily get. They focus on the flashy powers and the combat moves and all that stuff, but they fail to make the characters as smart as they should be. And I mean, I get it, you can't take away player agency by making the characters solve their problems, but at the same time, it's like... If somebody, if a character is really smart, find a way to portray that, you know? guns hooked to these machines. If I disable them, maybe I can do this a little more quietly. Short out the cooling unit to start overheating the cannon. That doesn't sound like it's going to be quiet. One Sabotage! Oh, hey, what's up, buddy? Here come the reinforcements. Oh, you blocked it? Please. Ow, my face. Ow, my back. Fine. Boom! Hope you like those broken ribs. More broken ribs! Boom! Oh, fuck that face mask, apparently. But yeah, the game lets you do crazy stuff like that. Bounce a shield off three guys and then beat the crap out of them. Dunk. Boom. Boom. Oh no. Guns. Whatever will I do? This worked out so well for everybody else that had guns. He's dead. He's also dead. 
That was difficult. Doo -doo -doo. Boop -ba -doo. Ooh. Finding enemy equipment schematics allows Cap to exploit their weaknesses, which is also cool. You know how they're put together, and Cap's smart enough to figure it out? That's when he's able to take them apart. Grunt Spartan Rail. That one we will watch. This explains why Cap focuses on... Super soldier ...has led to a grand departure from my prior approach. This Captain America, as their propaganda machine calls him, approaches combat without the use of a firearm. I now understand why. Though he does use a gun on the occasion. The average enemy soldier is well trained in ballistics, but woefully unprepared for hand-to-hand -hand combat. It is this weakness I shall exploit. A heavy dose of the Enhancement Serum leaves our subjects resilient, strong, but nearly suicidal with rage. I have outfitted them with high-powered stun batons that output 900 stun. kilovolts with lethal amperage on contact. Protected by a compact ballistic shield, my troops can swarm entrenched enemy positions and engage in close-quarter combat. Once the distance is closed, the enemy has little chance against these deadly, unfamiliar weapons. Which is kind of not correct, because World War II was, uh, did still teach bayonets and bayonet charges. In fact, the bayonet was considered a, uh, bayonet uh, fighting was considered a requirement up until at least the Vietnam War, and I think it's still taught, you know, even today, just as a, like, if all else fails back up. So, it's not that the average soldier is unfamiliar with hand-to-hand -hand combat, it's that they usually don't engage in hand-to-hand -hand combat because we don't get to that level. Also, whoop bang Or, we don't get to that distance, I should say. But, that's why Cap... Or, that's supposedly why Cap doesn't use a, uh... Um... A gun, because he's... It's so much easier to, uh... To fight with uh, his bare hands, which actually makes quite a bit of sense. Yoink! Virginal statuette. Thanks for staring directly at the screen, there, Cap. We. If you do that right, it looks really cool. If you don't do it right, it takes forever. <laughs> Ta-da! Alright, and there's a little bit of an egg here. ba -dum. And then, hop, hop. And we're over here. I think that's all the acrobatics that are needed. Nope, more acrobatics are needed. Hup, hup, whee! See? Looks cool. <laughs> ah, cameras, why? So yeah, this is actually a really good movie tie-in game. And for all I know, it's probably not... Uh, It's probably not considered canon within the MCU. I mean, there's nothing that contradicts it. So it could be, but probably isn't. That seems bad. Is that bad? What just happened? Wow, apparently that killed my screen for a second. Weird. Strike two. Okay, still recording. One more in that gun's history. Doop -a doo jam the ammo feed by shorting out the loading mechanism. Bad. It's probably a dangerous amount of heat if you think about it. When you have steam escaping from airtight vents, chances are you're not doing it right. 
Oops. Da -doom, da -doom. Thank God they made these so easy to short out. Boom, 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 boom. See, the weird thing is, an actual automatic loading mechanism for an air to air or anti air gun is not that useful. <laughs> The only thing it saves you is a person. It doesn't save you time, and it doesn't gain you time. Um, there's a... The Soviet ta or old Soviet tanks use an autoloader for the main cannon so that you can get a crew of three instead of a crew of four. The problem is that the crew of four, without the autoloader, can usually They're shoot faster than the guy with the, th with the autoloader. Last cannon will be hip Ooh. Got an upgrade. Let's get shield strike. Shield shockwave. Fully guarded. It's will come in. I can't disable it. The invaders are sitting ducks. Fabergé egg. Actually, it's a ceramic egg. Damn it. Oh no. So we're not going to go too much longer. I'm just going to kick the shit out of this welcome wagon. Cool. But first, we'll grab this box of documents. Gentlemen. Hello. Oh, boom, boom. I can't see anything. The signal cut out again. Damn it. My recording setup is acting weird, and I don't know why. Sorry. Oh, thanks for shooting your buddy. Boom. All right. No, not what I wanted. Fuck you. Ow. How do I do this move? Hold on. L1 and hold triangle, okay. Oh, L1 and hold triangle. Boom! Ow, my face. I missed somehow. You know what? Fuck this shit, I'm out. I suppose my one biggest complaint with this game is that at least this early, these early sections, they're not difficult. Like, I'm being shot and I'm taking hits. I'm not, you know, doing a terribly good job at this game. But I am in no danger of dying at the moment. Ooh. You guys all dead? I think I killed them all. Where there's a radio, there's an antenna. Bingo. Bingo, bango. Jingo, jango. Let's blow some shit up. Whoop. Fine. Boom. Ba boom, boom. Boom, ba boom, boom. Boom. So, yeah. That's Captain America Super Soldier. Uh, it's just really like the first 20 minutes of the game. The game gets far more interesting the more you play. You fight, uh, fight off against uh, Baron Strucker. You see you uh, meet up with and tangle with Madame Hydra. There's a whole section where you don't have your shield for a while. There's all kinds of interesting things in this game, and it's, it's well worth playing if you get the chance. That being said, it's hard to find at the moment. Um, but because, uh, like I said, I'm pretty sure you can only find it used. But if you can... Check it out. It's pretty good. Um, and uh, that's that's it. That's all I'm going to do for now. So uh, thank you very much for watching. Make sure to click that like button down below if you liked it. Happy 4th of July if you're, uh, if you're in the U.S. And if you're not in the U.S., uh, happy the U.S. is blowing shit up over here all the time. What the fuck is wrong with the day? And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. 